Hello and welcome to Vision Academy. My name is Hanuman Ladwa and in this video we are going to solve first PUC computer science lab programs, first Excel lab program. Eight salesmen sell three products for a week using a spreadsheet, create a sales report. The report should include the name of the salesman, amount of sales for each product and the salesman's total sales in the format given below. So this is the format they have given and what all the operations that we need to perform here they have given in the form of steps so let us write the same in excel so we are going to create this particular table in excel sheet i'm going to write here sales for the month and in the next cell i'm going to write name that is name of the salesman next i'm going to write total amount for the product one and I'm going to press tab. Next, I'm going to write total amount for the product two. And press tab once again. I'm going to write total amount for the product three and press enter. Now we are going to enter the name of the salesman. So let us maximize this screen. And here I'm going to enter name, for example, Tarun, Satish, Tomu, Balu, Krishna. So you can take any five names. Now I'm going to go for Here you can see they have given type in all text and numbers in the spreadsheet. Yes. So after writing the content, we'll go for formatting, right? Yes. So here total amount for first product. I'm going to write randomly any number. Even you can do the same. So I'm going to write 2400 and so on. So here I have written three products. Now I'm going to write the next salesman sales so randomly you can uh, choose any number over here so let me write over here s4 yes, okay fine next 2500 2400 2400 and here i'll write 1200 1500 1300 and so on right so after entering the values, what we need to do? Format all numbers as currency. That is option B, right? Yes. So we have to go to general. So here we have to select this entire data and then click on general. And here you can see we have got currency. So click on this and in front of each number, you can find rupee symbol. Next. Center the spreadsheet heading across the spreadsheet. Format all text. So let us format all text properly. Here I want to add one more column in order to find the total sales. I'm going to write total sales. And in the next column, I'm going to write total amount of sales for the month by the salesman at the end of the month to press enter now we are going to select each of the cell and then we'll go to wrap text here you can clearly see the text present in the particular cell so again click on wrap text click on next column click on wrap text Total sales, click on wrap text. Next, total amount of sales, click on wrap text. So, here you can maximize the width of the column and then you can decrease the height of the column so that you can adjust it properly. Yes. So, next, what I need to do is I need to select all of these cells up to this column and then I have to click on merge and center. So, after this, I want to calculate total of each product for a week total 
of each product for one week. Next, I need to calculate total of each product for one month. Next, once again, we are going to select this particular cell, click on text wrap. So once again, select this cell and click on text wrap. Now, I am going to go for calculating total sales, right? Yes. So, what is given in the next question? After formatting all the text, create formula to display a total for each sales representative. So, I have to calculate the total. There are two methods to calculate total and whenever we want to perform any calculation, we have to begin with equal to symbol. So, I want to add Tarun's total three products sales. So, I am going to click on the first product sale plus second product sale plus third product sale and press enter. So, here it is going to give us the total sales. So, this is one method and here you can see in the formula bar what formula we have applied to get this result. You can use one more method that is using built-in function we can calculate sum. So, I will write equal to and we will use built-in function called sum and press tab. Automatically, you can find the round opening brace. Now, I have to select the first row that consisting of product 1, 2, 3 sales and close the bracket, press enter. Here we got the total sales. I don't want to apply every time. I don't want to write the formula explicitly. So what I'm going to do is you can find in this particular selected text um, a small uh, square at the end, bottom end of this selected cell. So that is called fill handle. So once I hover on this, you can see the changes in the mouse pointer and using this just drag and drop up to the number of columns. So here if you find any numbers that represent hash, then you can double tap over here so that you can view it clearly. Now I want to calculate the total amount of sales for the month by the salesman at the end of the month. So how to calculate monthly sales? This total sales was weekly sales. So here in order to calculate monthly sales, we have to multiply the total sales by 4 because each month consisting of 4 weeks. So for that, I am going to write equal to total sales into 4 and press enter. So I want to apply the same formula to rest of the 4 salesmen's total sales. So using fill handle, I am just going to drag and draw to apply the same formula to all of the other rows. Now, I want to calculate the total of each product for one week. For that, I am going to write equal to, then I will use the built-in function called sum, press tab and then select all the products sales, like all the salesmen's first product sale. Okay, close the bracket, press enter. Similarly, if I want to apply the same formula, then just drag and drop up to this limit. So automatically it is going to calculate. So in order to see this particular data, we have to double tap and you can see the uh, sales of the product too. Next, we'll go for total of each product for a month. So again, we'll have to use equal to, then I have to multiply this weekly sales by four because each month consisting of four weeks. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to use the fill handle to just drag and drop to get the total sales. So if you will not be able to see the data, then you can just double tap and check out. So not only that, even you can format this one in the form of table, select the entire data and then click on borders. Here you can see all borders. And if you want to make this bold, then you can select these cells because these are the headings you can click on bold and you can format how you want i hope you understood this program if so please write down in the comment box as understood thank you